okay, let's take a minute and practice what we just learned. You will not need a, a ruler for this portion of, of the lecture because I give you the units. I say that when I measured, I measured starting at zero and I got all the way to one. Uh, when you do your problems online, I want you to make sure that you identify what the starting point and the stopping point is. Sometimes the ruler will say starting at three and ending at four, and the red line will be, let's say, right here. So it would be, if it starts at three, it would be three and something, because I've passed one, two, and three, and now I'm measuring down. So please take a minute to try all six of these problems. Uh, pause your video, and when you're ready, push play, and we'll go through the answers together. So the first one should have been 3 fourths of an inch, and if we walk through that together, we first identify what level we're measuring at. So this would be at the whole, or one level, the half, and a fourth. Once we know we're at measuring at the fourth level, we count across all the ones that were read on our initial diagram of the fourth level. So if I go back up and we identify the quarter, or one fourth of an inch, we would count all of the red hash marks. So let's go back to our problem here. So, one, two, three, four. But that's not correct, right? Because we don't want to use the zero. So you do not count the first hash mark. You would simply count one, two, three, place it over four because we're measuring at the one fourth inch mark. We're actually multiplying three times one fourth. Um, but you can do that by just, just putting the number you, you add across. Um, over one fourth or one eighth or one sixteenth. The second answer we must first identify it's at the sixteen inch level and then count across, etc. So let's go through the answers. The first one is three fourths, the second one is fifteen over sixteen, the second is three over eight, fourth one is one whole, number five is three over sixteen, and number six is nine over sixteen. If you got all of these correct, you can move on to the next slide. If you didn't, please come to my online office hours or in-person office hours. I'd be more than willing to help you, um, or we could practice some more sample problems. So the next one, take it a step further. If you look at number six here, I've identified that when I measured, I went past the number one, and I ended up on the number two. So the answer to this would be two. Um, if you look at number five here, it would be one and something, because I've measured past the one inch mark, and I've gone to whatever this value happens to be. So please take a minute to try sample problems one through six. When you're done, uh, push play again, and I'll go through the answers with you. Okay, so number one is one and something because I've passed the one inch mark as I was measuring. We can identify it at the whole half, one fourth, one eighth inch level. And then we're gonna count all the hash marks across skipping the first one, it never counts. So one, two, three, four, five. So we should have one and five eighths is our answer. The rest of the answers are posted. Please take a minute to look through them. If you got any correct, please go back and identify why you got them wrong. If you're confused, as always, please come to my online office hours or in-person office hours. I would like you now to practice converting fractions to decimals, and it is as simple as dividing the numerator by the denominator. So when I converted 1 16th to 0 .0625 inches with my calculator, I did 1 divided by 16 equals 0.625. I would like you to go through this chart and confirm that all of the answers are correct on the right-hand side. If they're not correct, you're going to have to fix them in your notes. Secondly, let's combine what we learned earlier with converting to decimals. So first I'd like you to identify all of the values of these measurements. What does it equal? Make sure you pay attention to the measurement. Is it one and or is it part of a fraction? Once you have a fraction, you're going to convert it to a decimal. So let's walk through number one together. Number one starts at zero, so when I measure I have to first identify what level I'm measuring at. And I can see it's a 1 16th inch level, but we can always count down, right? So we have the whole half, 1 4th, 1 8th, and then the 16th inch level. Then we'll count across and count all the hash marks except for the first one. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the fraction for this would be 9 over 16. But the decimal would have to be 9 divided by 16. And what does that come out to? Please take a minute to complete all six of these problems. When you're done, push pause, I mean, push play, and I'll go through the answers with you. So the first one we decided was 9 over 16, and when you divide 9 by 16, it should equal 0.5625. Number 2 is 1 and 1 eighth, because we have established that we've measured past the 1 inch mark, so it's 1 and something. And then this is 1 eighth. It's at the eighth inch level, and it's the very first one that we count when we count across. So I can convert this to an improper fraction and divide. So I could convert this to 9 over 8, divide 9 by 8, and I would get 1.125. Or whenever you have 1 and something, 3 and something, you can rewrite this as a decimal. It's 1 and becomes point, so 1 point and whatever 1 divided by 8 is. In this case, it's 1.125. Please take a minute to read through the following answers. If you got them all correct, you can keep moving forward. If you got any wrong, just like always, please stop and go back and review. And if you're still having difficulty, please attend my online office hours.